I love this. Four of the taller mugs, healthier version of bread. I need my shoes to be comfortable and good. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Ming. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos, vlog videos, food review videos, and haul videos. And today's video is going to be a good old Costco haul. I'm so excited to share with you what we got from Costco. There's so many deals and sales and discounts at Costco right now. So much holiday shopping going on. So yeah, I'm super, super, super excited to share with you. So after the Costco haul, I also have a, several items that I picked up during the Black Friday shopping so I'm also very excited to share with you what I got as well. Before we start don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you won't miss out any future content. We're almost 5,000 subscribers so it's just amazing. It's just so amazing to be able to connect with every single one of you so I'm very very grateful during this holiday season that I'm able to stand here and share with you what I love and what I Without further ado, let's dive into today's haul. The first item, like this is probably one of my favorite purchases of today. This is from the brand Bodum. Bodum. This is like an interesting name for the brand Bodum. So this is a double wall thermal glasses set with eight glasses within this. And it comes within, within two sizes, I believe. They're four of the 450 mil, which is like 15 fluid ounces. And also four of the 250 mil, which is 8.4 fluid ounces. So this is what it looks like. It's basically a glass set. I personally really enjoy the double wall glasses jars just because well first of all it doesn't burn your hand because like you know they're double layered glasses so and also it keeps your drinks warm and cold for a little bit longer just because you know there's this is of course it's not like a real like thermal cup it's not like those hydro flux, but it does keep my drink a little bit more warm for a longer time and also it looks super super pretty especially when you drink coffee especially espresso and things like that so you can use it to drink anything like juice and stuff like whatever content in the mug will just show up and I think this is perfect for me because you know when I film vlogs I love my coffee shot it's just every day when I wash that coffee dripping into my glasses or my mugs I just love it so let's unbox this together today so let me put this right here. There we go. Look at this. This is like a little matcha. I love make matcha drinks at home and I love the look of my drinks, obviously. So yeah, it gives you this little menu. This is what they carry at Costco today. So that's why I bought it. Okay, so. All right, this is what the smaller cup looks like. Ooh. Just like making yourself a little matcha drink. <sighs> Slow living. I am very, very excited for the holiday break because I just feel like my life is like, go, 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 go. I really need to slow it down, like making some hot drinks at home. So this is what it looks like. It's super delicate. It looks really, really pretty. Yeah. Okay, so now let's open a bigger one. All right, now let's see the bigger one. Okay, this is the bigger jar for latte or other like juice or stuff. There we go. <gasps> this is what the bigger one. This is like 450 ml, which is almost the same um, volume of like a bottled water because a bottled water is 500 ml. This is 450. Basically, like if you put water in there, it's like a pound. And this is like the smaller one. So we have four of the taller mugs and four of the shorter mugs for different types of drinks. So yeah, they look super, super good. I believe it was like $34 or $35 for eight mugs. It's definitely really, really good price. Because I remember when I first found out about these jars, they were like $10, eight to $10 each. So that will be like eight of these will be like eighty dollars but like these ones like eight of these mugs at costco was like 35 dollars so i think it's a really really good deal to buy as a set so yeah i really enjoy these ones second item we're not going with order today because i have so many things and they're just like in this pile behind me and in boxes so this one is like an irish stew with beef and carrots 
and also the onions and I believe these are fresh potatoes da, da, da. this is a really good lunch item it's like a very very traditional type of beef stew like that's how I would make it so it's this very traditional flavor of beef stew there's nothing too special about it but it's it never hurts to go traditional because you know you can always trust a recipe like this and this one is really easy I do think you just preheat it it's already made it it's with the tender USDA choice beef slow cooked with fresh potatoes baby carrots and pearl onions in the brown gravy and if you look at the nutrition facts it looks actually pretty well um, each serving is 160 calories with, with four grams of fat uh, 570 milligrams of sodium so this is not like a super high sodium content item which I appreciate there's only two grams of sugar in each serving which I also appreciate the main carbs is from the potatoes which I love and also 17 grams of protein so very very high in protein I I was I would rate this item as like one of the healthier item that I could get like in those like quick cook lunch items I think this one was $18 the price is also okay I remember purchasing like a like a beef rib item from Costco it was like $50 so expensive but this one it's like a different cut of beef and this one also comes with vegetables so it's like a little bit cheaper so it's $18 this one is good for like you know three people I believe so yeah it's a pretty good value next item I'm super super excited I'm pretty sure I will make a dedicated review video reviewing this item because <sighs> this is Peking style half duck you know what? I am from Beijing. I grew up with Peking style duck. So I am so excited to test out this one to see if it actually tastes good, if it's actually authentic, if it's real Peking style. By the way, if you don't know what Peking, what's the difference between Peking and Beijing? Basically, Peking was the name of Beijing until like several decades ago. So it wasn't Beijing until like very recently. So before it used to be Peking, if the city name is Peking. That's why when you look at the city opera, it's Peking opera, not Beijing opera and also it's Peking duck not Beijing duck so that's why it's called Peking style not Beijing style but this type of flavor of duck is a very traditional dish in Beijing almost every single restaurant serves it but there are also like famous restaurants that has like the very traditional authentic recipe so I doubt this one is gonna taste as good as the one I actually get from Beijing growing up but we will see right we will see so stay tuned stay subscribed and look forward to this review video yeah all right oh, this one looks so pretty I just I love this this one looks so pretty I always wanted to buy a wreath they're $20 they're not too expensive but we always felt like, you know, we're gonna buy a wreath in the future, you know, blah, blah, blah. And this year, because we moved into the new house, and then like, basically all of our neighbors are like new move-ins because the whole block was new built. So everyone was like going above and beyond celebrating their moving days, like the new house and everything. And I was like, can we buy a wreath and hang at our door? And I just felt like it's really good that everyone does something in the neighborhood just to create this holiday spirit and then Brandon was like yeah let's get this wreath it's $20 from Costco and it smells very very good why does it smell good so Brandon was like this is not real but I kind of think it smells really really real like I'm still like very very confused like and I also like the fact that it has this like wire thingy so you can just hang like in the back or something like this and then you just hang it out hang it out hang it on the front door and it's just gonna look so pretty so yeah i am so excited this year i finally have my own wreath yeah holiday spirits looks so 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 pretty yeah it's very welcoming and i love the detailings right here there are two wreaths in um costco 
one of them is just all green and this one actually has pine cones and this so i love this one because it's more like decorative it's just you don't have to do anything to it and it's just pretty on its own but i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure i saw at least five of these when i was walking in the neighborhood i'm pretty sure the majority of the people got their wrist from costco it's just everyone's wreath look the same but still it looks very very pretty yeah i think it's real wreath I don't know. I think it's real. Okay. There were some leaves falling down. I think it's I think it's a real. I think some part of it is not real, but some part of it is. That's why it smells so good. I think like the actual like right here leaves are actually real versus like some decorative piece are not real. So I think it's real. It smells so good. Yeah, so if you have bought wreath at Costco, comment down below. Like, this is my first wreath ever, like ever. So, any ideas, how to hang it and things like that, let us know. All right, moving on. We have a huge box of food items from Costco. All right, so I want to introduce you this healthier version of bread. This is from the brand Sola. And this one is in the flavor of sweet and buttery. And what I love about this bread is, is that it only contains two grams of net carbs. Ta-da! So I've been trying to eat a little bit like more lower carbs just to control my glucose level a little bit better. So I'm not on keto diet. I don't know if this is keto qualified or anything, but I'm just trying to eat more protein and plant-based fat and Personally, like I'm trying to eat some bread for breakfast, but I also don't want to eat the white bread. So one of my friends who was on a diet and she introduced me this one and she said it's actually fairly affordable and it's actually in a lot of different grocery stores. So I decided to pick it up and she said get the sweet and buttery flavor. So I decided to try. So I already tried this before from HEB and in HEB they actually sell like one loaf of bread, not two loaves, but Costco, you know, everything wholesale is actually two loaves. So each slice is 70 calories and five grams of protein per slice. So if you look at the nutrition facts, each slice is 70 calories with four grams of fat, but only one gram of saturated fat, no trans fat, and then it also has polyunsaturated fat which is one gram and then 2.5 grams of monounsaturated fat which I love unsaturated fat and it has no cholesterol it has a little bit of sodium 130 milligrams of sodium it does have seven grams of carbs but if you look closer it has four grams of dietary fiber which is really really good because this bread is actually mainly with fiber not that much carbs so the actual carb each slice is only three grams so the actual carbs contained by each slice is only three grams because there, although there's seven grams of carbohydrates, four grams of them are dietary fiber. So that's why three grams of the them are actual like carbs, carbs that you actually internalize as the glucose blood sugar. So it does not contain any added sugar, which is awesome it does contain one gram of sugar alcohol which is like some sort of sugar or sweetener substitute and five grams of protein so it's a high protein a little bit high in fat but unsaturated fat and only three grams of net carbs and a lot of fiber but i do want to caution you though if you have gluten allergies it does contain wheat gluten so this may not be the one for you if you don't eat gluten so this one contains um water wheat gluten olive oil modified wheat starch wheat protein isolate flour soy flour yeast so it's actually okay minus minus the wheat gluten so if you are trying to avoid gluten this may not be the one for you but if you're trying to eat less carbs and no added sugar maybe try this one and it actually tastes pretty pretty good and this one tastes just like normal bread it has a little bit of this chewy taste but it's very very filling because the high protein and high fat content and it also contains a lot of fiber which is really really good and this flavor of sweet and buttery it's actually really good it's not sweet at all to be honest but it does have a butter taste which is really really good it doesn't taste like those like you know like super fibery bread that's like healthy but 
that texture. The texture of this bread is actually really, really good. So yeah, uh, I purchased this one. Um, it, this one will probably last me for a while. I'll put some in the fridge or sometimes we can freeze the bread. But it's probably going to last me for a month if you freeze the bread. So yeah, so this is like a really good item for if you want to look for a low carb diet, but it's not gluten free. All right, so the next item is Ta da! The keto chips. This chips is actually a little bit expensive. Well, because it's keto chips, it's not like regular chips. So, this is from the brand um, Halo Life. It's Keto Your Way. It's made with almond flour. So, it's not regular flour, it's made with almond flour with three grams of net carbs and nine grams of protein. It's a high protein chips. So there are 12 servings per container and each serving has 150 calories with 10 grams of fat and you would be like, oh my gosh, there's so much fat, but they're also unsaturated fat because there's only one set, one gram of saturated fat. The sodium content is okay, 220 milligrams um, per serving, 5 grams of total carbs per serving, but 2 grams of them are fiber. There's only 1 gram of sugar and there's no added sugar, which is awesome. And there are 9 grams of protein each serving. And uh, to be honest with you, like this is my second time purchasing these chips. It's really, really filling because of the high protein content. The flavor is really good. This is in the flavor of natural cheese. It's in, it, this is in the tortilla style, but it's it's actually made with almond flour so yeah I really really enjoy this and sometimes when I'm hungry but I don't want to eat a meal I will eat this and it actually fills me up really good because it has like super high fat and protein content so yeah I really enjoy this one so if you're trying to eat low carbs or trying to avoid like regular tortilla chips the almond flour as long as you're not allergic to it it actually tastes pretty good and it's a really good substitute yeah. um, I know I'm contradicting myself I was just saying I want to eat low carb diet and then Man, I bought ice cream. Okay, so this one is from the brand My Mochi, and this is My Mochi ice cream. It contains three flavors strawberry, vanilla bean, and sweet mango. It tasted so, 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 so good. This mochi ice cream tastes just like the ones I used to have in Asia, so highly, highly recommend. The mochi texture is really good, and the ice cream is very creamy, and it's not too sweet. So if you like ice cream, but you don't like things that are too sweet, consider this one. And it's also very good for portion control because each mochi is just a hundred calories so if you don't want to eat too much sugar and stuff just eat like one mochi like one mochi after lunch or after dinner as dessert I think it's actually okay unless you're like a real diabetic or something so yeah I think this one is a little bit healthier than the traditional ice cream and I really love that mochi wrap so what it is is that um, on the outside it's that mochi wrap and inside is the ice cream all right so this item is also a repurchased item this is from the brand Kibon and this is the healthy noodle previously in my channel I actually made a dedicated video reviewing this item and I also had two noodle recipe using this noodle item it's really really healthy because it's actually very low in carbs so each um serving has only 30 calories with no fat, one gram of protein, and six gram of fiber, and that's it. It's basically a noodle item made with fiber, and you may be like, oh, if it's made of fiber, it probably doesn't taste good, it's probably chewy, and blah, blah, blah. It's actually really, really thin. It's very water-soluble. Like, sometimes I overcook them a little bit, and the texture is not as good. So it tastes just like the normal noodles, minus the fact that it actually doesn't contain too much carbs so if you love noodles but you don't want to eat too much carbs this is the one for you so personally I've been trying to eat less carbs but I love that like Chinese noodles noodle stir-fry like things like this soup noodles and stuff like that and this one is just like oh my savior and I know some Costco carries it like our Costco actually carries it for like at least like almost a year now like consistently and I know some viewers said like if you live in California maybe some Costco carry it some Costco don't so this one is in the refrigerated aisles like close to those like 
you know, prepackaged food. So hopefully you can find this item from your Costco. I really, really enjoy this. It's definitely like making a huge difference in my diet. Yeah. Okay, from the same aisle, we also have the Kirkland Signature Chicken Tortilla Soup. This is my signature dish of all time. When I don't know what to cook, when I don't know what to eat, I just get this tortilla soup. I love to put more black beans or corns in there. I also love to put butternut squash or zucchinis in there. Like you can just use this as a base and put whatever you want in there. It just tastes so, so, so good. It's probably one of the best tortilla soup that I got on the market. Even some restaurants, their soups do not taste as good as this one. So I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. All right, so to go with the tortilla soup, I bought some butternut squash. This is the organic butternut squash pre-cut. Very easy to make. I love to roast them or put them into the soup. It's very sweet and creamy. I love the texture. It kind of it kind of tastes like sweet potatoes, but it's not as sweet, which I love. So yeah, this one goes really, really well with the chicken tortilla soup. All right, next item. I'm so excited for this one. This is the Organic Real Snack Solutions Larissa's Kitchen Original Tender Beef Steak Strips Seasoned and Smoked Grass-Fed Organic Beef Jerky. That's a mouthful. I think I read almost everything on the package. I'm very excited to see this item at Costco because I obviously read some books, read some online articles, listened to some doctor's podcast, talked about like eating meat, meat quality and stuff. So he was like, you know, you should try to eat grass-fed beef, like grass-fed and finished beef and things like that. So I saw this in Costco and I saw this as organic grass-fed beef jerky. So I decided to give it a try. This one sounds like a good item. The only thing is that it does contain six grams of sugar. I wish they don't put as much sugar in there, but I think it should be okay since it's a high protein item. It says there's no, no added nitrites. Like nitrites are not good for you because like nitrites are actually one of the factors that may actually cause cancer long term. So that's why you want to avoid food that has like very high nitrite content. Sometimes it's actually a natural chemical in the food or sometimes like when you eat leftovers that like, you know, things that are in the fridge for like a seven, more than seven days or it depends on the food groups. For some food, you shouldn't be eating them after three days. For other food, like seven days is okay. Usually like spinach or greens after you cook them, try to eat them within three days. So that's why I don't meal prep for seven days, just because some greens, they don't last long because when they last for very long, they may develop nitrites chemicals and then long term they may cause cancer. So. This one, it says no added nitrites, which is great because in a lot of like those preserved food or fermented food that has high concentration of nitrites. And this one is beef raised without added growth hormones. So I have high hope with this. Hopefully it tastes good. So because this one contains a lot of sugar, I decided to buy a non-grass-fed beef but this one does not contain sugar so i'm gonna see like if it actually makes a huge difference because i want to see like beef jerkies with sugar and without sugar do they actually taste the same to see like if i should continue buying this with sugar or i should continue buying this without sugar i don't know i kind of wish like something healthy like this don't put that much sugar but you know, we're gonna try both. I bought the both this time. Got some organic Mediterranean crunch chopped salad kit. This one sounds like a dream. It has a lot of great vegetables I love to eat, like um, broccoli, carrots, red cabbage, cauliflower, and things like that. So I'm super excited for Mediterranean styled salad. You know, with these salad kits, you don't have to worry about how to make your salad dressing. You just put everything in there and it's good to go. Yeah. I also got a spinach salad with poppy seeds dressing Ta -da! so I got a container of this oh cherries they still have cherries I know it's kind of late late in the year but we still have cherries they're pretty pricey but I love cherries so I got a container of this some mushrooms and raspberries like healthy healthy food and I got some cauliflower and avocado I heard that like avocados are super good for you like because all they has is healthy fats and also like fiber so I decided to eat more avocado this year 
actually next year. And then I got a thing of pistachio. I heard pistachios are really good for your health as well. So I decided to, you know, snack on those instead of like those unhealthy potato chips. So the next several items will be from Nordstrom Rack. Today we went shopping. Shopping, shopping, shopping. The first one is I got this shirt from the brand Sweet Romeo. Sweet Romeo. Like this is like a it's like a sweater shirt. It's like super thin material sweater shirt. And I feel like it's going to look good. It has this like Batman style type of sleeves let me put this on for you this is like twenty dollars and i think it's a really good item maybe when i go to work and stuff okay here we go oh nice this one is super soft and sleeky i love it i i love it i love the detailing right here can you guys see be a little bit taller so it's a little bit of this like batman style type of sleeves like you know a little bit baggy right here but it gives you this like super I don't know, like I like the detailing right here, like super elegant type of look and you don't have to worry about losing weight right here, you know. During the winter, we tend to gain some weight right here, like, you know, the butterfly <laughs> wing type of thing. So yeah, I love this. I actually really like this one and it matches my, you know. Yeah, so I like this one. Oh, I forgot. We actually got one more item. Ta-da! We got this item from Costco and I was thinking about making a dedicated video reviewing this and this is from the brand Reiko since 1996 and this is their brown sugar boba milk tea drink. It has 12 cans. It has like boba in the milk tea drink so I'm very very excited. So what I'm gonna do is like when my husband drinks it, I'll just drink a little bit. I probably won't drink the whole can by myself just to have like a little bit of sugar control to be honest with you. But, you know, like, it's good to drink, like, a little bit sometimes, like, after, like, a meal, instead of, like, drinking something very sugary with empty stomach. And it's always good to share, you know, sharing is caring and also very good portion control strategy as well. Alright, so I really like this sweater. Like, I can't get in. I keep looking at the will finder because I was like, okay, I'm trying on new clothes and I really like this new clothes. Yeah, I like, I love it. Alright, so the next item. I got another shirt from Nordstrom Rack. This one is like $18 and this is in the color of this like super gingerbread. Oh, I like this color. So let me try this on for you. But this one is just very simple. It doesn't have anything special. Like it doesn't have like something like this. But what I love is like it's like a v-neck. Super simple but I love the color. Yeah, so let me try this on. I'm back. I am back. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So this is for like a warmer weather today for some reason in San Antonio. It's really, really, really cold. But next week it's gonna be 74 degrees again. I think this is a really good sweater or shirt for like a 74 degrees. It's a little bit big, although it's in the size of small, it's a little bit big, but I think it's actually pretty okay. The only thing is you can see, I get a little bit of sunburn right here. <laughs> sunburn. <laughs> Cause like when I put sunscreen, I put on my face. I always forget this part, and then like big sunburn. But yeah, I really like this color. It complements my skin tone and all that. So yeah, and it's very soft and sleeky. Very nice length. I can wear this to work. Yeah. Okay. So I also bought two pairs of shoes for work or for you know going out. So the first pair is from the brand Clarks. I love Clarks because like their shoes are very very comfortable. I always buy shoes from Clarks for my mom just because like you know mom's a little bit older and then I am getting older too. I need my shoes to be comfortable and good looking. But this one is actually really good looking, I wanna say. It's like, it's heels, but it's not too high. And it's also not like a real heel, it's kinda of like a wedgie type of thing right here. And it's very stable when I put it on. This one, the original price was like $90, but now it's on sale for $60 at Nordstrom Rack. And I really like the detailing on the tip of the shoes as you can see i really like that like you know it's kind of like a square tip it's not like too aggressive it's not like pointy it's not round it's kind of like square it's professional but not aggressive 
so I really really like this and I love the navy blue and it's the right height I believe so yeah I got these pair of shoes I know I know I know but I didn't buy any shoes last year so I think I can buy a pair actually I bought two pairs this year and I realized I don't have winter or fall shoes I have a, like a lot of summer shoes just because I live in San Antonio the majority of the year is summer so yeah it's good to have something like I can wear to work very professional yeah another pair of shoes that I got also from Nordstrom Rack is from the brand Soft I believe this is from the brand Soft and then this one is $55 $55 I think this is soft right this is what it says soft so this is what the shoes look like it's super light weighted to be honest it's, it feels like it doesn't feel heavy at all and it's very comfortable if you look like inside it has this paddings and stuff and it has like a little bit of height right here it's not like completely flat so this one is like those loafer type of shoes that doesn't have heels so i think like if you if i go to work but i don't have like a presentation of some sort because now we are having presentations in person so like if i have presentations i won't wear this i will wear the blue one but if i don't have presentations i feel like this one is more like casual or business casual friendly so yeah and it's like i love that like wide side detailing as well this one is like 55 dollars it's like so soft inside so yeah i'm super 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 excited for this i went on a shopping spree don't judge me okay it's that time of the year so i also went to hobby lobby for some christmas decor items so first I got this like golden Christmas tree cone type of thing. I think it looks really, really good. And then I bought a small Christmas tree. Small Christmas tree for my upstairs. I finally got a desk for my home office. So I'm trying to decorate my home office and look how pretty it is. It's just so pretty. It's just like so pretty. What can I say? It's just so pretty. I love the fact that it's not like a traditional Christmas tree and I love the like little red thing. I forgot. I don't know what this is. I don't know what to call them and it has quite a bit of weight so we don't have to worry about like, you know, like falling and stuff. So I think this one is so so wintry and it's really good for my home office which is like more modern farmhouse type of vibe so i think these two are gonna add a little bit color yeah for my home office but last but not least i also got a decor it's a christmas decor but i think i'm gonna use it for all year long Ta -da! I bought a bear look how pretty I love this one because this one is like this is actually a yoga pose did I did I tell you like I am actually going through my yoga teacher training to become a certified yoga teacher and this just reminds me of the happy baby pose and instead of happy baby it's a happy bear it's just so 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 cute I can't get enough of this and this one was also like on sale original price was like $15 but after the sale it's only like $7.50 so I think it's a really good price for this decor and it just makes me happy when I look at it okay so yeah I really love this item so what super 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 cute okay, that's it for today's video thank you so 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 much for watching this haul i hope this video brings you joy and letting you know a lot of costco deals by the way we also bought some drinks like waterloo sparkling water and kleenex there are also some discounts going on at costco and also i saw like one of the fitbit models and some monitors are going on sale they also have a neck and back massager i think was 99 dollars as well i already own them so i didn't buy them this year they are really really good holiday gift guides for others as well i don't work for costco i don't get money when i say these things but i really enjoy that those items that i previously purchased from costco so check out the deals don't miss out the deals but also don't buy everything that i talk about or everything i buy because we all have different needs 
Yeah, so buy things with your own discretion. Yeah. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the notification bell, and comment down below what's the best deal that you got from Costco this year. How is your holiday shopping going? What's your favorite items and things like that? So comment down below and let us know. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Happy holidays.